हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी हैव विथ अस तुषार शर्मा हु इज करेंटली वर्किंग एज एन एम एल एंड जेन ए आई डेवलपर एट एस एन डी फॉर्मरली कोला बेरा and he is also a bs degree student so today we'll have a conversation with him and uh, get to know his journey of iit and bs degree and how he actually secured this role at sndn so hi tushar give a brief background about yourself to our viewers this is tushar sharma a 23 year old from kanpur uttar pradesh uh, one of the happiest cities in india and uh, uh, recently i'm going to announce that uh, i have secured a, a generative ai and machine learning engineer full time role in uh, sndn uh, uh, so i have been pursuing this uh, bs degree from uh, like 2021 uh, so i was like from the very first batch of uh, bs degree online and uh, apart from that like i have completed a few internships in in the data science domain i have like completed one internship in qualities in technology as a data analyst and uh, also been in, uh, like uh, working in a few freelancing projects uh, related to machine learning so uh, since you are from the very first batch of iitm how did you come to know about the program before earlier i have been graduated with one more degree program in like bsc in electronics also so like after completing like in 2021 i was searching for a few options i was looking for a few things like which related to programming and how i can apply programming to solve the real world problems and since data science is a very like emerging technology emerging field in in the in the upcoming market so yeah so i have like very much pretty much sold about the whole things that i am going to be doing as a data scientist or a machine learning engineer in this particular domain so yeah i have decided to like pursue my career in this direction like once i enrolled myself into this degree program the one of the best things one of the perks of being in this degree program is that the level of engagement with the other student the level of engagement with the whole staff uh, of iit and all is great like i have not ex- like expected this like the we have different communities of student we have multiple houses we have multiple societies and also like weekly uh, multiple session i think for a single subject three weekly sessions are being held and uh, like so sub from tas and ras all so and also before every quiz we have this uh, revision session also and uh, and like the revision is always been the sessions are always being uh, given to us Uh, before every proctored examination of programming one and before every quiz before interim examination those the support from the iit madras i am getting the level of engagement i am getting from this degree program is that which is comparable to any offline degree program and it, it is completely breaking any stereotype of the degree online degree which is being attached with it is really impressive and uh, i'm really happy that uh... the program really helped you you know elevate your career journey since you said you already had done a few internships in the data science domain and you are currently working as a uh, gen ai ml developer so how exactly did the program help you the course structure and uh, uh, which courses uh, would you recommend the students to focus on more based on your experience um i would say like i am currently in a diploma level so i have not even completed a single diploma actually okay uh, like uh, like diploma in data science is about to complete only bdm project is left to complete the the thing that helped me a lot is statistics and mathematical courses like maths 2 and stats 2 are one of the biggest like they help me a lot in developing a lot of core concepts mlp project is very important a lot of people think like it's a very one of the easiest project to go take forward to but right. if you are someone who wants to secure a job in a data science in a in a in a machine learning space you need to take that particular project very seriously a lot of things you need to implement before and and it has given me a lot of confidence altogether so you are currently at the diploma level and uh, uh, still you have you know completed internships and you are working uh, 
in this role so for a student who is looking out for uh, internships or a place where they can get hands on experience and apply what they are learning from the course what would your suggestion be how can they go about uh, you know applying or you know searching for such opportunities and what should their focus be i'll tell you about my journey and like like it it first been about 3 to 4 like 3 to uh, 2 to 3 months i have been like like seriously looking for a job and i have created like profile in multiple uh, online recruitment uh, platforms like nokri.com indeed well founded and all so first of all you need to create profile a great profile on these platforms also linkedin because a lot of recruiters look for your LinkedIn. They first do the background check, the very primary background check they do through LinkedIn. So you need to create your LinkedIn accordingly. And you need to create a few port projects for your portfolio. Because since you are a fresher, since you are someone who is doesn't have any prior experience, so you need to create a couple of full stack projects, I would say. Like for me, I have created three major projects. And uh, like in between the foundational level, I have been started learning about machine learning and deep learning and all. So I have uh, created a three full stack projects related to data science. You need to first start having a practical experience and you need to start exploring Kaggle. Kaggle is a very great platform and uh, you need to explore a lot of notebooks. You need to explore a lot of things, a lot of future engineering techniques. They will give you a practical experience for how to tackle a data if you have any data set in your hand. Of course. Uh, so, Atushar, uh, we did not know that you are currently at the diploma level and you already have so much experience. So, all the opportunities you found all by yourself based on what projects you have done, what hands-on experience you have got. So, that is really a, a great thing about you. And I think this is this will really inspire a lot of students out there who are watching this video to you know actually try out things, actually uh, try out projects and reach out cold emailing the websites that you told. So I think it's really important uh, to you know stay active on uh, such platforms uh, where we can actually get to you know apply what we are learning. From behalf of every student I'm speaking, it's a very great opportunity for the person, the kind of a flexibility that you are getting, the kind of a support that you are getting, the kind of a level of education that you are getting. It's flawless. It's completely uh, a one-time opportunity for a person. If you are in a, if you are a college student right now, even if you are pursuing any offline degree, I would say if you are very much interested into data science, just hop on to it. If you have any kind of suggestions for the students who are currently in the degree, who are pursuing the BS degree. Highly suggest to create projects, independent projects. Uh, it doesn't matter if you are able to like, have a level of a skill to uh, contribute to open source. Go with that also. And be uh, like very active in the social media platform. Oh, sorry. Social media, I mean LinkedIn. Because these are the platforms, the more you network, the great opportunities you get to know about and the more opportunities you will be able to enroll yourself into. In this degree program, like upskill yourself, uh, upskill you with most of the things. But apart from that, go with your own personal experience, go with your personal pursuit of upskilling yourself, like uh, learning about version control, learning about how to uh, do the production level programming, a lot of things which I have done from my side and which have helped me a lot. Upskill yourself apart from your uh, academic pursuit. Go with uh, like link, like YouTube is a really great platform. There are many educational channels you can follow. You can follow their content. And these days, generative AI is very prevalent, very demanding right now. And uh, I have like learned a lot of things related to generative AI, RAG architectures and all. So, uh, so many terminologies are there in, in generative AI. You can start learning those things. And thank you so much for taking out your time and uh, having this conversation. Thank you so much for selecting me for this interview.